Hey guys, this is Forest Fish Tanks back with another video. Today I'm going to do a care video on the bullhead, specifically the yellow bullhead catfish. So the yellow bullhead catfish can be found almost anywhere because it can stand almost any water conditions. So to start off the video I would say um, keep them in pH, you want to keep them at a moderate pH, although they can stand worse, I would not recommend keeping them in worse conditions. Uh, these fish are carnivores, although they will eat algae, algae wafers or something that sinks to the bottom like that. Anything that gets to the bottom, they'll eat it, as long as it fits in their mouth. So I feed them the meat pellets that I fed my crayfish, and he also likes to eat some of the flakes that I feed my smaller fish, like my mosquito fish and my shiners. Um, they do get to be pretty big but not massive so they can be kept in a tank for their whole life as long as it's a big enough tank this tanks only a 30 gallon so he's not going to be in here his whole life but that's the good thing is that when he gets too big he can eventually go into my pond and he can stay in this tank I'd say till he's about six inches and then I'd probably want to find a better place for him uh, for tank mates, I would say keep them with uh, any fish that are their size. So while they're growing, you want them to grow up with fish their size. So uh, I got the chubs and the shiners and the um, mosquito fish. And I have the Raphael catfish down here too. This is where he always hangs out. But he'll eat with the Raphael catfish sometimes too. They'll hunt together. But these fish are not usually aggressive to other fish unless they're picked on. Uh, sometimes they might freak out, and I've noticed that they freak out only really like if they're if they bump their whiskers against something. Uh, their whiskers are really sensitive, so sometimes they'll really freak out and swim all around the tank. But don't be worried when you see that, because it's 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 just what they do. So you don't. Also, I would recommend don't keep them with gravel unless they're very big, because you don't want their whiskers to uh, be damaged. For uh, habitat and hiding places, I'd recommend that you keep a lot of hiding places in the tank, especially if you have other uh, bottom dwellers. So this guy, uh, he mostly likes to hide in behind the shell in the darkest corner of the tank. So you, what I did here is uh, my tank only has one light on one side, so that it's really dark in one spot, which is a re it's, it's really effective because then the uh, the fish he feels more safe so that all day it, it's dark over there in the corner and it can be he can be safe there because even when the windows open the, it still stays pretty dark in that corner thank you for watching my bullhead catfish care video and like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video